Welcome back to Beyond the Bulls podcast. We are here this week with Miss Jalen Hartman. Hello. Thanks for being with us, Jay. Of course. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Had a nice coffee this morning. So. Okay. What kind? Uh, vanilla. Vanilla iced coffee? Iced latte. Yeah. Iced latte. Are those the ones you guys are making at your house, or are you going and, like, spending no, six bucks? I'm going to Tim Hortons. Okay. But I'm a, I'm a member of okay. the Tim Hortons app, so. Okay. So, like, what, what are we talking, like, three, four bucks? Three fifty. Okay. Three fifty. Okay. You're not a Starbucks girl? I am usually, but it's too far. Yeah. And the one on campus, it's a whole hassle to okay. get out my car. Uh, you and Tara have an espresso, don't you, at your house? We do. Do you use that a lot or no? We do, but we've... We've consumed all of the Nespresso pods. Right <laughs> okay, so we need to refill on yeah. the Nespresso pods. <laughs> Jalen is a coffee connoisseur. So those of you guys that love coffee, this is your girl here. So um, Jalen Hartman, uh, what number are you wearing this year? 31. Number 31 this year for the Buffalo Bulls. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so I'm from Jersey. I uh, take a lot of pride in that. I am, I would say, on the court, I'm versatile. I'm um, a competitor. I'm a team player. And then off the court, I would say I'm also pretty versatile with my interests. I like like thrifting, video games, um, coffee drinking, um, and yeah, big movie person. I'm pretty much like a 40-year-old woman when it comes to movies and music, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to hit on a few things there. First of all, <laughs> from Jersey. Yeah. You and Lex are from different parts of Jersey, correct? I'm from North Jersey. She's from South Jersey. Okay, but still Jersey girls nonetheless. Yes, yes we bond over that. Yes. I think there's something pretty tough about the Northeast type of vibe up there, yeah. if I do say so myself. So we, we got some toughness coming from Jersey. I think Lex would attest to that. Oh, yeah. uh, but North and South, but still Jersey. Uh, okay, some people would say you are the funniest one on the team. Some people would say you are the most interesting one on the team. <laughs> I think you're an old soul. You kind of hit on that yourself. Yeah. So where did this interest, these interests outside of basketball come? Because if you guys talk to Jalen, you would never probably know – Unless you get to know her about your interest in music and your interest in movies and in in all these types of things, like where did that come from? Was it just what you were born with, or so you were exposed to like different things growing up, or what? Um, I would say it was for sure my dad. Like he's like a pop culture queen. I would say he knows everything. Like yeah. he he could be on the View if he wanted to and just talk about <laughs> pop culture. But um, so yeah, he introduced me to that in music, um, and then just through there, I just kind of like went through it on my own like just watching movies like I watch like three four movies a week at least okay um and yeah no I just he introduced me to that and it's just been something that I love like music that's just constant 80s mostly but everything from like the 40s to now so okay top three artists right now Michael Jackson is my all-time favorite artist okay aren't you t don't you have a tattoo for him somewhere I do um, okay got this I don't know if you can see it it's my second favorite album. I uh, got this when I was 15. Okay. Questionable decision, but <laughs> I, I don't regret it. Um, I would say Michael Jackson, Pearl Jam, and let me do a recent one so people don't think. I don't listen. I would say Charlie XCX's new album, Brat's good album. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Top three artists. Okay. Top three movies. Uh, it's like picking a favorite child. <laughs> I'd say Forrest Gump. Good one. one. God, that's so hard. Um, the Holdovers, which was a new one that came out, that's good. And I would say this isn't this is one of my favorite movies, but this is one that I realize people my generation don't watch is The Breakfast Club. Oh, to see that, so. good one. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like you gravitate more towards older movies, like versus what's coming out these days? I mean, I go I go to the movies a lot, like yeah. regardless. But I would say I think the like the depth of <laughs> older movies is a lot more. Yeah. I like yeah. Hulu or Netflix? Netflix. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, you have a pretty unique recruiting story when it comes to like Buffalo. Mm -hmm. We took a little bit of a different approach. I took a little bit of a different approach with you. So I saw you enter the transfer portal. Okay. And I didn't like go the normal route of like emailing you or texting you <laughs> or whatever. So I literally DM'd you on Twitter. Yep. And you took forever to DM me back. <laughs> so I just went ahead and DM'd your dad, too. Yeah. And he, ac he, <laughs> he actually responded to me right away. And I was like, hey, if you don't mind, like, tell your daughter she needs to call me. Yeah. And so tell me about that. So, yeah, um, transfer portal, kind of overwhelming. Um, it was a lot of phone calls. But, um, you know, when we called, it was just like immediate connection. Immediate, like, I just clicked with you. Um, 
you're like, we'll fly you down tomorrow if you want. Like, I was like, yeah, like, I'll, I'll, I'll come down. Um, and then, yeah, I came on my visit, and I, w- I remember Coach Yu was telling me about this the other day, too. I was, like, in the bathroom after, um, we had, like, a meeting, and I was like, Dad, I need to come here. Like, I need to come here. And then Coach Yu walked in or something, and I was like, oh, God, <laughs> I got to get out. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I just, I knew from the moment, you know, we talked on the phone that this was going to be a place where I was going to be coached and challenged. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why and wouldn't how, I go anywhere else? How is that going so far? How's how's your experience been? Uh, you know, having an experience somewhere else for a year, mm-hmm. now being about, you know, six, seven weeks into summer session, how is everything going? I would say that I'm definitely growing and I'm definitely being challenged more than I have in a long time. And it's something I'm very grateful for. And it's something that um, definitely is like a learning process, uh, especially just because of the difference. Um But yeah, no, I couldn't be more grateful for it. Like, I I can see myself improving, like, weight room on the court mentally. um, And it's going to be something that develops through the season. And, you know, the harder all the coaching staff is on me, the more I know that, you know, you guys care and you guys want me to develop. So that's all I could ask for. Yeah. What, um, you know, if someone was like, what are you bringing to the team this year? Like, what would your answer be from a basketball standpoint? I would say I am bringing – I have a chip on my shoulder for sure. I'm on a revenge tour personally. Um, but just because I personally want to succeed, like that, it doesn't mean that that's just my own goal. Like for me, I want to win as a team. And I kind of, you know, I want people to see me on a team, a winning team, and see me surrounded by like minded individuals and um, just see that I'm not, we're not taking anything for granted. And we all have come from, like, we have a lot of transfers, we have a lot of, um, like younger players, and I think a lot of us coming in um, have something to prove, uh, like off the court and on the court. So I just want to, again, win with like-minded individuals and just show people that, you know, you slept on a lot of us, you doubted a lot of us, but we're going to win, and you'll be watching. So How, how is that, like, mindset in the locker room? How, what, is it, what is the mindset right now, you know, if, if, if we're not on that court, but in the locker room and when you guys are amongst yourselves in private, like – what what are the conversations? What's the mindset going into this year as far as what we can achieve as a team? Yeah, I mean, just when we're off the court, like, we, we talk about other things besides basketball, but a lot of our conversations, like, as friends off the court are about basketball, um, about, like, when are we going to get shots up, um, like, kind of discussing what happened in practice, um, and just kind of reflecting on where we want to go. I see, like, a lot of reflection among people, like, even in the locker room as we're walking to places, like, at the townhouse, like, it's just a lot of people reflecting and kind of coming together. And I think that's been s- kind of special because, you know, after practice, we all, you know, we're working hard, whatever, but we all have each other to kind of bounce off of. Um, and I've been able to go to everybody and as everyone else on the team, like everyone can just kind of bounce off each other and ask for advice. I've seen a lot of that, um, you know, from Kaylin to Chella, I see people asking, you know, for advice. Um, and I think that's really special. And I think to have that on a team, people who are really insightful and, like, reflective. I think that's something that is so special. So Yeah, for sure. What do you think, you know, if we can look fast forward a week from now when we're done finishing up summer session, what do you think you can look back and say, like, we've we've achieved, accomplished, like, wh- where we came from eight weeks ago to, to the end of our summer session? Like, what do, you, what do you think was the most valuable thing about being here over the summer? It can be something basketball-wise or just team camaraderie. Like, what, what did we accomplish in these eight weeks? I would say we accomplished – um a sense of holding each other accountable which is something I think we're still working on um but I think in the beginning it was very much a lot of the newcomers me myself included like just kind of watching the returners and seeing you know what they do and kind of following along but now I see more of kind of with off the court what I said before like we're bouncing off each other like you know I'll go up to Lonnie and ask a question and then you know Tara will go up to someone else and ask a question and I think it's just a lot of like I hear a lot of, like, I got this next time or, you know, that was my bad, but I'm going to fix it. And so I think that's, you know, I think we, we become a lot more accountable as opposed to in the beginning, like, we were kind of letting something slide. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Take me to a day, a complete off day for you here in Buffalo. Like, walk me through what your entire day would look like. We don't have basketball. You don't have to come and lift. I know these days are rare, but, like, tell me if you have a day where we've just been going at it for a week straight, you know, 10 days, like, whatever it is, and you haven't had an off day. Like, what are you doing on that one day that you get? All right. I'm waking up at 8 a.m. Okay. Um, I'm immediately getting a coffee and a bagel. <laughs> from Tim Hortons both? No, I would say from uh, Spot Coffee. By okay. You. Yeah. That, that place is good. Okay. 
Um, after that, probably going to go thrifting. Um, probably call my boyfriend yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, come back, play some video games. Uh, go to Panera, of course. I'm on a seven-day streak right now. Oh, my gosh. Panera. Um, <laughs> have the same meal. But uh, then after Panera, probably come back, take a little nap, go see a movie, call my dad about some new TV show, um, ask for a picture of my dog, just to remind myself of the good times. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, I don't know, probably back to video games and just, just chilling. Like, if I could go somewhere... I'll go to, like, Los Angeles for a day. But okay. That's, that's kind of a crazy... Yeah, you ain't going to L.A. on your off day. No, we would no. never make it back for practice. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it's it's nice to dream. Yeah. Nice to dream. Okay, so let's hit on two things. Number one, thrifting. Mm-hmm. You some good thrift shops here in Buffalo? Yes. Um, we went to Savers with one recruit. That was that was a really good um, time. And that was, like, it was huge. Yeah. Um, and then there's a couple of vintage stores in Buffalo. I haven't been able to go to those yet just because, like, they're just they're kind of more expensive than yeah. like normal thrift stores. Right. Um, but yeah, no, definitely looking for more. Gonna take probably Sam and some other people with me. So okay. Yeah. Okay. So thrifter, and then the other second thing we need to hit on is you gotta tell everybody, Jalen is a gamer. I am a gamer. What are your games of choice? <sighs> okay. Well, my favorite video games of all time are GTA, Red Dead Redemption Two, and The Sims. <laughs> um, but I would say now I'm playing Valorant, Outlast Trials. I'm going to sound like such a nerd. <laughs> um, and what else am I playing right now? I'm about to play Baldur's Gate, which is like a Dungeons and Dragons type yeah. thing. The only one I've heard of is The Sims, because I used to play that like yeah. literally 15 years ago on my like little yep. computer. Yeah. Um, okay. Interesting. Interesting. People are going to think I'm such a nerd, but... That's okay. <laughs> Own it. Own it. Yeah. We we love you for it. Um, well, anything else you want to tell the people about, you know, just, just the team this year, what you're excited about, what to expect when they come to Alumni Arena to see you play? Anything you got, you want to tell everybody? I would just say um, I just know we're going to be a dominant team. And, like, I can already tell from the energy, like, yes, there's been some, like, ups and downs in summer of just, like, finding our identity. But I just know once we start rolling and we start really, like, just flowing with each other as we do, like, an open gym. Um, I just think we're going to be a very dominant team, and we're going to, you know, we're going to be the team that other teams, like, put on their calendar and be like, we got to, you know, we, we're going to try to beat them. But, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, like we talked about, I think a few weeks ago, we've, I think in my mind, and, and for you guys, I hope you feel it too, you know, just being going into year three now, doing what we did last year, mm-hmm. you know, going from hunting others to being the hunted. Yeah. And I, I personally – like that opportunity mm-hmm. and that challenge. And I think you guys have, have thrived on that so far this summer too, but we got a lot to prove long way to go. We all know that we're working super hard. Um, we're going to go into rapid fire. Okay. All right. I'm not doing the regular rapid fire. We're coming up with some new rapid all fire. Right. All right. Describe your coaching staff in one word coaching. as a whole. Um, I would say, I mean, passionate, passionate. Yeah. Okay. Hot coffee, iced coffee, iced coffee. All right. Um, beach or mountains beach. Hot chocolate or <laughs> hot chocolate or what's the um chai latte? No, not hot chocolate or what's the other thing you drink during Halloween time? Halloween? Oh, pumpkin spice latte? Yeah, let's do hot chocolate <laughs> or pumpkin spice latte. Uh I'm gonna say hot chocolate. Hot chocolate, okay. Peanut butter or jelly? Peanut butter. Okay. Gaming or thrifting? Gaming. Choosing gaming over thrifting? Yeah. Okay. Uh Panera bread. Yeah. Or it's gonna be hard to top this one. Hundred dollars cash. Like, are you talking like <laughs> never eat Panera again, or just like a meal? I'm talking like I'm gonna take you to Panera right now, let you order whatever you want, or I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars. You can't go to Panera with the hundred dollars. Okay, then I'll go to Panera. Cause <laughs> I would have spent it the hundred with <laughs> what the hundred dollars on Panera. But <laughs> uh, favorite sport besides basketball? For some reason, I don't know why, I love watching... Okay, this is probably not a sport. I don't know what it's called, but you know the movie Napoleon Dynamite, that thing he's hitting? It's like on a pole. Oh, it's tetherball. 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 Why did we have one of those in my backyard growing up? You did? Oh, yeah. Don't mess with me. Oh, I'm my God. The, I, when I get a house, I'm getting that. Okay. I'm going to be in the backyard like... Oh, yeah. Tetherball, <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> Speaking of weird sports, the Olympics are on right now. What are you watching? Anything? I am watching a lot of the swimming, um, and then I'm the gymnastics are like when we have practice, so I can't really watch that. Uh, but I'd say swimming, uh, men's and women's basketball, and weirdly, oh my God, what was that called? 
thing. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, swimming and basketball. Yeah, right. I think the Olympics are a time to watch the weird sports. Yeah, and, like love it. Sure. I'll be like locked in to like. Oh, the, handball. handball. Yeah, handball. I feel like I would. I'd crush that. It's, um, like, it's basically basketball, kind of. Yeah, actually, a lot of handball players do play basketball. Mm -hmm. But I've been watching like ping pong, yeah. table tennis. They call it badminton. I, yeah, I've seen, I haven't watched those, but I've seen so many, like, live yeah. events of badminton. Yeah, archery, like, weird stuff like that. <laughs> they had the pistol shooting. Yeah, 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 crazy. It's like, those guys are Olympians, Olympians and you wouldn't even, like, pick them out of a or grocery break store. breakdancing, too. They yes, have. yes, all of that. Um, okay, let's say morning or night? Morning. Morning person? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you rather walk or run? Run, P Slow walkers are the worst. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did say that. I can't. Okay, pick A, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Favorite meal? I'm going to go lunch. Lunch? Yeah. Okay, finish the sentence. Make it? Four. Okay. What is the thing that you want people to know about our team when they come watch you at Alumni Arena this year? What is what is the message for them? Um, you know, what, what are we going to be about? What is our identity formed in these last eight weeks, in your opinion? Mm, there's, a, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, when they come see us, I would just say we're a unit, like through and through. Like you could, you know, one through sixteen, you're gonna get something different from each person, but they're gonna give a hundred percent, and it's gonna be a challenge for whoever's playing against us. So, so somebody walks in the door, pays their little ten dollars admission. I don't know what the price is, but what say it's ten bucks. They're gonna get they're gonna get their money's worth, and they're gonna just look at us. And they're gonna be like, that's a unit. On yes. the court. <laughs> love it yeah. love it love it well we are looking forward to a great season coming up uh again Jalen Hartman she is going to be a sophomore this year transfer you guys are going to be very very excited to watch her on the court and get to know her off the court so thank you guys so much and we will see you for the next episode go Bulls, go Bulls. <laughs>